I asked 10 carnival experts the 10 biggest pros and cons of a carnival diet. And let me tell you, these cons are real and something we don't really talk about. I had the pleasure of meeting all of these carnival experts at KetoCon. And who do you think I went to first? Dr. Ken Berry. And when he said this first pro of a carnival diet, I was just thinking, well, that's why I've been doing it for two and a half years. The biggest pro that I found on a carnivore diet is that a long time ago, pan down, this button was the tightest button that was in danger of popping. And now most days, this button is the one that's in danger. And I don't go to the gym. I don't waste time working out. I work on my farm and I eat lots of fatty meat. And that it just kind of happens. It's pretty cool. And for many of us, it is effortless weight loss. And for me, I lost 25 pounds in just three months without measuring calories or tracking anything. And that's because fatty meat regulates four important hormones, cortisol, leptin, ghrelin, and the biggest cause of obesity, insulin resistance. However, some of us actually gain weight on carnivore, and there's a very easy way to fix this, which I'll chat about a little bit later. But I, like Dr. Sean Baker, love... Steak. <laughs> no, the food's great. No, I mean, it really is. I mean, it's, it's uh, I mean, the foods are delicious. You eat, like every meal is a cheat meal, literally, I think. And as Dr. Baker said, that's pro number two of a carnivore diet. The food is so delicious. You see, when you get off the sugar addiction roller coaster, meat is so satisfying. And for me, what gets me out of bed every single morning is my fatty latte. And I'd love to know, Am I the only one in this fatty latte carnival camp? Let me know in the comments. But there are so many benefits beyond just weight loss of the carnival diet. It heals disease and inflammation, which just happens to be pro number three. And Raymond Nazon talks about healing, but not in the way that you think. Well, the biggest pro of the di carnival diet is healing. That's what I felt for me. What does that mean to heal though? <laughs> For me, healing is being my better self, feeling like I'm 20 again, feeling younger than I've been. I'm 52 years old right now, so you know, feeling like I can be 25 and having better quality life than that. That is a huge pro for me. I know from what Raymond said, there's gonna be two responses. One's gonna say, I feel younger, I have more energy, I have better sex drive. The other is gonna say, I feel bloated, fatigue, and I have diarrhea. Now, if you're in the latter group, there's two things that I will say to help you. The first thing is to give it time. And I know this might be something you don't wanna hear, but even when I speak to Dr. Lisa Wiedemann and also Kelly Hogan, they say that you need to be strict carnivore for six months or even 12 months to see the difference. And for me, I just do triple B and E and keep my coffee in because that's something I just can't take out. The other thing that you can do, according to Dr. Elizabeth Bright, is to increase your fat and eat the right amount of protein. Now, when I first started carnivore two and a half years ago, I had no idea what I was doing. But after talking to over 100 carnivore experts, I have a good idea about how much fat and protein we need to be eating. And that's why I created the ultimate four-week fat loss course to teach you how much protein and how much fat to eat and how to build the perfect carnivore meal to target fat loss. You can simply click the link in the description and automatically get 20% off for my YouTube friends or simply go to 5minutebody.com. Now, along with the healing, pro number four of the carnival diet, according to Laura Spath, is that it? Can help you identify any health issues that you have. So it works as a really awesome elimination diet where, you, you know, issues that you're having, health issues that are maybe caused by food. You now have eliminated that. And then also the pro is that meat is delicious and you get to eat delicious, nutritious meat all the time. And even Robert Sykes, who is a professional bodybuilder and zero carb, says the same thing. The biggest pro of a carnivore diet is that you just remove all the variability in your food choices. You eliminate all the noise and you distill things down to the simplest, most nutrient dense options. And then from there, you can figure out what your body responds best to. You see, when we have a health condition, what do we do? We just go straight to our physician and usually they prescribe us pills, but that doesn't get to the root cause of the problem, which is almost always inflammation. So eliminating all the toxins from vegetables, fruit, processed food, and yes, even honey is very important and gonna make you feel so much better. Just look at Michaela Peterson. If she's not evidence enough, I don't know what is. And Michaela's father, Dr. Jordan Peterson, 
who by the way this morning followed me on Twitter. So if you haven't followed me, learn from Dr. Peterson. He had a miraculous transformation on a carnivore diet with his mental health. And the beautiful Courtney Luna said exactly the same thing. My mental health, I was able to go off of my Zoloft and ease up my depression and anxiety. Now I was curious, why does carnivore help so much with mental health? Well, I just asked Dr. Elizabeth Bright, which is pro number seven. It gives you uh, essential nutrients yeah. and it ensures that you get cholesterol, which you need for your hormones. What else? It balances your blood sugar so you don't have um, mental health issues. We have talked about the deeper pros of the carnivore diet, weight loss, nutrition, healing, and the biggest benefit, mental health. But one thing Nisha Berry and I love about Carnival is... Simplicity, uh, very short trips to the grocery store because I know exactly what I'm gonna get. I get in, I get out, and everything is in the refrigerator. So it's simple, yeah. And Anita, ketogenic woman, said exactly the same thing. Plus pro number eight, which is something I never really thought about until she mentioned it. Simplicity cheap and easy to follow while you're traveling. As I said on Twitter, carnival is like minimalism on steroids. There's less decision making. And for me, my air fryer becomes my best friend. Whatever your health goal is, simplicity is key, even if you're an athlete. But the question is, do you need carbs to build muscle and strength? Well, you don't. And that's pro number nine of the carnival diet athletic performance. And even Coach Bronson Dant says his biggest carnival pro is... The ease with which I can increase my performance and reduce inflammation so that I can work out more, I can do more activity and not feel sore and beat up all the time. And it's not just for male athletes, even Coach Natalie, who is a bikini pro athlete and 100% carnival, says... I feel amazing on it and I don't have to worry as much about counting every macro and keeping my food low. I get to eat more and still have the body of my dreams on carnivore. Now I love what coach Natalie said. There is no restriction on a carnivore diet. There's no cutting, there's no bulking. I really don't know why more people don't follow the carnivore way. Now that is all the pros but before we get to the cons I would have loved to get the opinions from Dr. Jordan Peterson, Michaela Peterson, Dr. Paul Mason, even Dr. Paul Saladino. Wouldn't you just love to hear what he has to say? But to get them on this channel, I need your support by clicking that subscribe button. You see, 70% of my viewers have not subscribed and the bigger the channel grows, the better the guests I can bring to you. So I'm just gonna wait for you to hit that subscribe button. Okay, that out of the way. Now, when it comes to the carnival cons, this is where it got really interesting because each of the experts said something different. And the first carnival con by Dr. Ken Berry was something I really never thought about. The biggest con is that it's becoming really popular and very often select cuts of meat are sold out or the regenerative rancher we buy our cattle from uh, is, is, has a waiting list. So that's, that's a con, but I think in the big picture, that's a good con to have, yeah. For me, I just eat ground beef. But I can understand as our carnival community grows, the price of meat will increase. And funny enough, here in Turkey, the price of meat has increased by 30% in just three months. And Dr. Elizabeth Bright, who by the way lives in Italy, said the same thing. And even she said this one con, which I think for you guys might be a pro. Uh, the biggest con could be weight loss. Um, I have had some patients who lost too much weight. So usually I will have to, so far I've been increasing the protein. My son could be an example. He went carnivore because he had arthritis in his fingers. He had to add a tiny bit of carbohydrate. But I also, something that may have to do with it also is you have to spend a lot of money on a lot of meat. So you have to eat a lot of meat if you're a male, for instance, a young, you know, a 35 year old male. So he didn't have the money to spend a whole lot of money on meat. So, you know, it's, it's, it's something that has to be thought about. I haven't counted it a lot. So, but so far I've just been adding, increasing the protein macro. Now that is something we really don't talk about. How much meat young men actually need to eat. But you have to think, what is the cost of your health? Do you want to pay now 
or do you wanna pay tens of thousands of dollars later in doctor's bills? I know what I would choose, but the choice is yours. But if there was one con, this would be it by Dr. Sean Baker. Uh, the biggest con of the diet, con of our diet is other people are jealous of you. They don't like it. <laughs> well, I mean, I think they're, I think they are, you know, think that uh, what you're doing is wrong and, you know, they, they, you're going against what, what they believe is true and you're kind of demonstrating that, hey, maybe they're wrong and they don't like to be wrong. People don't like to be shown that they're wrong. Very true. You see, when you go against what you have been taught for the last 50 years, that fat is bad, vegetables are good, people are gonna fight back because they have been brainwashed. And funny enough, Courtney Luna said the same thing about what she sees on social media. The biggest con of the carnivore diet is all the hate I get on social media. People are not ready to hear my message because people are brainwashed <laughs> for what they know about nutrition. They're brainwashed to believe that red meat and eggs and butter is bad for us when it's not. Don't blame the butter for what the bread did. The biggest thing is to stand up for what you believe in and be true to yourself. The more that we hang around with carnivores, find the right community, the more that we understand that it's the sugar, seed oils, grains, processed food, and even honey. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate about that, but these are the causes of heart attacks and most diseases, not the red meat. And people's dogmatic opinion leads us to Carnival Con number five by Raymond Nazon. Uh, biggest con of the carnivore diet has to be socialization. It's very hard to get around and make friends and enjoy yourself with other people and talking to them because everything is expressed through food and typically carby food. Oh my God, that is so true. Sugar and carbs is everywhere. And even one of my members on my carnival group said that her mother-in-law shows her love through food. So she just brings rotis and Indian sweets, but there is a way to get around this. For me, I'll just meal prep, eat before I go. I'll even bring a dish to anywhere I go. So I'm not limited to what's on offer. Now, Nisha Berry mentioned another very interesting con, which just happens to be con number six. In my opinion, it's dogma that we've been brainwashed to believe. But just listen to this. People just don't understand it and have a really they think we're killing the planet. I think that argument being brought up constantly is very frustrating. And we love regenerative farming. And so having to defend that is probably the biggest con. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that for another video in terms of what's worse, cow farts or maintaining avocado farms. But if you have the data on this, please leave it down in the comments. Okay, on a lighter note than cow farts, this next carnival con is something I seriously struggled with for over 20 years. And I know Laura Spath feels the same way. That's a tricky one, right? But I think for some people, they're, they miss out on the sweets and they miss out on sugar, but I think that that's what we have to understand is um, the addiction side of us and that you know, if somebody can have one bite of a sweet and then stick to it, no, you know, go back to eating meat, no problem. But one bite for me is gonna cause me to go off the rails. And so sometimes it's a little sad. We have to grieve that uh, loss of sugar. So that could be hard. And one bite for me, it is like my appetite is open for business. I can just keep eating and eating. And even last week at KetoCon, I may have had some keto approved cookies, that was just disastrous. And that reinforces why I should not be eating sugar. But I know for many of you just starting, it can be really hard because we have so much access to carbs and sugars. And when you go to just eating meat, well, you kind of feel like what Rob Sykes was saying. The biggest con is also the, the greatest pro is that you have less variety. So for people that need more variety in order to sustain it more effortlessly, you're gonna have less food options. Now, with the popularity of carnivore, there's so many different recipes that you can probably make anything work for you while staying strict carnivore. And especially if you're a bit of a foodie like Coach Nat, well, it could be a bit of a struggle. I am a foodie and I love variety and I like trying all different things. So the lack of variety can be a con, especially at the beginning of a carnivore diet. But there is so much variety that you can find on carnivore. And especially Coach Nat, she is very adventurous. Probably not as adventurous as I am, but she has tried a lot. I do everything from salmon to lamb, eggs, beef, 
I will try anything that exists, any animal out there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we've tried a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Like, we've had a lot of things. We've had ostrich, ostrich and, um, I mean, all kinds of, what's oh ostrich, gosh. kangaroo. Kangaroo, kangaroo. Like, camel. We tried camel. We tried a bunch of different stuff. And, you know, I usually tend to just go back to beef, lamb, and eggs. It's yeah. kind of where I, where I live. And bacon sometimes. I like to have more seafood mixed in there. And I like spices, and I like seasonings, and I like um, different flavors. So I will use a lot more of that in my cooking. He sticks with slap your mama seasoning. Slap your mama, salt, and butter. That's pretty much what I put <laughs> on my food. But then when you're on the other side and you've been doing carnival for 30, 60, even 90 days, you find the freedom that so many of us carnivores feel. And no wonder Coach Bronson, Dad, and I are besties because we feel exactly the same way. I honestly don't have one. I know. At zero. I don't, I, I, there, I, I love it. I live it. What about traveling? Not a problem. What you can you always get meat somewhere. Clean meat? That's a, so that's a different question. Does it matter how clean the food is that you're eating? And in some cases, something is better than nothing. If the choices that you have are limited, sometimes it's okay to just not eat at all. Right? So it, it, there's nothing forcing you to go one way or the other. And for me, I really had not... I mean, it's five years. May 1st is my five-year carnivorsary. I have not once regretted or had any reason to think this isn't the way I should be. And you know what? I love what Coach Bronson has to say. Simplicity. And for me, even the other day, I ordered a burger. I just wanted the beef and nothing else. But what did it come with? Cheese and sauces, which I really can't eat. So instead of being all hyper and just really stressed out, I should have just scraped off everything I didn't want and just eat the burger. And I really love this simplicity message. And that's exactly how Anita, the ketogenic woman, feels. Thinking, thinking. There isn't. Really? Why, why? I just, I have not had any issues. I have not had any issues on the carnivore diet, except for in the beginning, a little adaptation. Adaptation can be tricky. Beyond that, I got nothing. So I think overall, the carnivore diet works for me, and I absolutely love it. But I'd love to know from you, are you more pro carnivore after watching this video? Or maybe the cons resonated with you? Let me know down in the comments or over on Instagram. Now I'm gonna go get ready for my interview with Dr. Ken Berry, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.